Well, good morning, magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. We are into episode four, episode four of the new build series, the new home build series. And today is some exciting information that I want to pass on to you. If you're doing something like building a cistern, a swimming pool, anything that has to hold water, and you want to make it watertight so that it doesn't leak, I think you're going to find today's uh, video very interesting. So without further delay, Let's go ahead and get today's video underway. So those of you who are following, this is not going to be a pavilion project segment of today's episode. What we're going to do, we're going to get an update across the street. We have a lot going on here in this portion of our subdivision. We have the, the build across the street that you're following for the Canadian friends, our Canadian friends, uh, V and Gerard. And we have our pavilion project that's coming close to a close. We're about two weeks out closing this out. But today we're going to go over and we're going to take a look before they do another big pour. And I have to show you some of the, the rebar, steel reinforcement that's going to be done prior to the concrete mixer truck, the ready mix truck coming in today. Let's go over and take a look. Well, this is, this is going to be really impressive. Uh, the, the contractor for this project right here has a lot of experience that's outside the scope of most contractors here inside the Philippines. Because his experience goes all the way back to his experience working on big major projects over in the British Virgin Islands for things like resorts and big houses on sides of hills and everything like that. So what I wanted to show you here this morning is all of the rebar, the metal support. Look at this incredible amount of steel right here uh, that's going to make sure that this build is safe on this property that actually has a lot of backfill in from the developer, but they have to hit stable soil and they have to have stable walls to make sure that this is a stable, this is a stable uh, build here. Uh, so anyway, you saw the backside. They're complete with all the form work on the backside right there, pretty much except for a column that they're working on right over here right now. They did all the steel work for the slab that's gonna go in place. And this entire area is the size, if you look at this whole area, this is the size of the swimming pool. Actually en encompasses several things here. Uh, the size, the whole size that you see of the rectangle, that's the size of the infinity swimming pool that's going to be done. But the infinity swimming pool doesn't go to the bottom. This is all underneath the swimming pool. Uh, they, ha they have two units right here that are set aside for the pump house for the swimming pool as well as a generator room. But the size, again, this is the size of the Infinity Swimming Pool. It will be raised up. There will be another slab for the bottom of the swimming pool on top of all this right here. But this is the foundation for the bottom of all that support that's going to be supporting the weight of the swimming pool, the water, everything on top of it. And then there'll be a deck that goes around the outside that connects to the back of the house. Let's go down inside and take a look a little more closely at some of the metal all this metal that's going to provide all the support for all these nice features on the back of the house. All right, well over here on Gerard and V's build site, I got to show you something that is extremely interesting. Uh, and I have to do it before they pour. We're doing the big pour today for the formwork in the back and also the base of the cistern. Now before we go down and take a look at the, what we're getting ready to pour, I want to show you this guy right here. He works for Dielise. Delce. Delce. Delce Concrete. He's the concrete guy. So if you need concrete, this is the man. Do you have a number? A number? Number is, I don't know. That is the number to call. 
and he will provide you with some of the best ready mix, very strong concrete in the Lipa, Batangas area. Now we're going to quickly go down before they do the pour because the contract right here, Romeo, wants to show you something that's really important if you're doing a project like this and you need to make sure that you don't have any leaks in something like a cistern. And he's done this in projects before and I've never seen it done here in the Philippines. I've seen it done in the US before, but not here. So let's go ahead and go here and try not to impale ourselves here on some of this rebar. Yeah, this is what we call, uh, what, uh, we call key. So the concrete will be up to here. Then after we finish the concrete, the next day we're going to take this one out. This will be formed like a key. So when we do the wall now, so there will be a key here. So when we put, uh, when we cast the wall, it will cover also this one. So it will it, it will uh, prevent the cistern and from can, leaking. Plus, I'm going to put a water stop here. A water oh water water stop, water stop okay. yeah. Okay. So it will be double uh, double leak protection. And we'll come we'll cap we'll come back and we'll capture this again later so people can get a better yes. understanding of what the finished yes. uh, yeah, after result we, is going to after be. After we, we cast this one the next day I'm going to show this one to you. Okay. All right, awesome. Yeah. We'll come back. We'll come back and take a look at this. Now something I want to show you here, this is a follow-up to when they actually poured the slab here in the back for the foundation for the cistern, generator room, and the pump, the pump housing room for the swimming pool. Do you remember when we put that cocoa lumber V shaped and we called it a key, the key, the, well this is the key once you extract the cocoa lumber. And what this does, this provides an additional layer of of uh, protection against you losing water because in a in a swimming pool in a cistern in anything that has a horizontal and a vertical plane if you just connect a formwork like they do here or a concrete hollow block to the slab on the bottom this is where you're going to get cracks along here and this is where you're going to lose water so a technique that Romeo from Caribbean construction uses is a, a tried and true uh, strategy that they use mainly that I've seen mainly over in North America and and in and, and in the Caribbean where and and in Europe as well is they do this key and when they pour the concrete the concrete will go down into the key right here which will provide a seal between the horizontal and the vertical plane here but not only is he going to do that and we're going to talk about this later once they start laying it they're going to do a water stop on the back side of this rebar over here next to the inside form and I asked Romeo to please let me know when they lay that down and that is going to be basically a, a cushion is a cushion of like foam that goes inside there it's a water waterproofing foam that will go there all along the inside and that's your second layer of protection and between the two of those this should never be any problem with leaking and as soon as he gets that installed we'll come back over here and we'll take a look at the process
also a good thing that we were able to come back here before they do the fill. They're going to do backfill inside here very soon. So you see all these little green spots inside here. The green spots, the little green squares all along this entire uh, the retaining wall back here and just above the footing support. These are weep weeping holes right here and the weeping holes are going to prevent any water from setting up down here in the back of the yard and it provides a path for all the water that might be going down into this area right here to go through and you can see there's multiple layers there's a layer of polyethylene uh, screening and there is a also aluminum screening that goes inside there for strength and what that will do that prevents any clogging any big materials from going through and clogging and also what they will be doing they will be putting a layer of of gravel of the three-quarter inch rock gravel inside there to act as a filter so it really doesn't even get a lot of muddy water that goes through there so they're doing this exactly by the book all right well they are just about to start putting in the water stop right here and i'm just going to show you an example of what it looks like and where they're going to be placing it again so here's what the roll of the water stop looks like. You can see, uh, I, I'm not going to push down too much on here, but you can see it is like a piece of, oh, almost like, like silicon jelly kind of stuff that they have inside here. What will happen is the pressure of the concrete will push down on here and it will make a watertight seal on the inside of the, of the, uh, the wall that they're getting ready to pour here uh, in the next few days. Well, I hope you found today's video to be really interesting. Things like doing waterproofing, getting things so that you keep your cistern sealed and you don't lose any water, your swimming pool sealed and you don't lose any water, anything that you want to be sealed and don't lose any water. Plus, it was really fun watching that pour today, the pour going inside those formworks in the background and then seeing the results afterwards and things that you need to do to make sure that you don't have water setting up on your property. Anyway, that's it for today's episode. We have still some more very interesting videos upcoming in the f upcoming days and the weeks and months to come on this build. So please stick with us and watch and hopefully learn something as we are doing right here ourselves. Anyway, that's it for today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please give me a thumbs up. Please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream in the bottom right side of your screen. You'll be subscribed. And if you ring that bell, you'll be notified the next time I upload a new video. So until some time from here in the Philippines, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well